His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. Huh. Serious insult in these lands. 
serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udorik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udorik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udorik's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods, it's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were maids once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. We're eaten by trolls. Never end in shame, that Diana's chowder.
Show me what you got. If anything, time to see Udalric. I never knew a man as brave and as God fearing. A fierce shame. Fuck, fuck, I have no idea. Why'd you do it? I have a giant on your mind. Had... What is this? Udalric. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want? Exactly. Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch, 
You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's land. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky. But I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. 
The Heim's Lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Somebody could break their leg, or their neck. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. She's run into the old house!
Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the pain. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel... As if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres.
Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone's... That was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, claiming there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. They smear your ass with honey yet hero. Sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. <laughs> Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent, cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps beneath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorin, or I'll tuck you in neat the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. Yeah. 
You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Geralt. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. Hey, interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg, near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess, they didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do as much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Gotta say, I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. That much? Oh, Geralt. Doubt the yard be prepared to spit that up? Hmm. I can add a sum, but not near that much. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Ought to be said. Missed.
Spectre. Killing it won't change a thing. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyol, the lightkeeper? Joran from Ehrenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when- No worries. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the rain. Big bugger, bigger than the rest and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Is it safe?
Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Guilty for crimes, foul deeds. 
Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks? Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often. Anyway, that's the sea, that's its nature. The sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. If Mikyol's the Cursed One, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Island like long book guest Alice. Nice. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
this done. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe, because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Best keep that promise. If I ever hear of another ship, even a dinghy, running aground off Eldberg, I'll come back here, finish what the penitent started. Understand? But I... I understand. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd have died of hunger or fear. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it. monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Ask Mikyo for the details. Interesting man. Definitely more than meets the eye with him. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Hey, my girl. Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Yorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. Ever fight a witcher? Many raids. Wars. 
deals. Only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Yorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died like a fool. Your lands, David, are about it. Speak, damn it. They're dead. At some foreigner's hand. Corey! Crackin! Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village. And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. Hey ho, hey ho, the fuck at work we go. No way he's keeping us so long. Wants to you build a new river. Where'd bang, you get bang, your a scar? When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give lip during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Listen, maybe we can make a deal. They took my things, but- You're on the continent. Can't buy me. Not with gold, not with honors. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and- Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. See, Lugas said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Why? Ray, uh, come on. My line gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. 
He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Aye, killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Kraki. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh. Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Ari. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin, unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Leif, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. You drink last night too? Whosoever. something specific. Show me. So long.
faster. Not so fast, Roach. What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Works for me if you can arrange it. I can arrange a knife between your ribs as you sink to the bottom of the bay. Now bugger off! Don't make me hurt you. Got enough trouble as it is. Think you scare me? Scare your old son of Odmore? Known elseways as the Wolverine! Hey! What's all the hollering? Some stranger wants on the longship. Says he's got business, but, uh... Let him pass. If he turns a nuisance, we'll toss him overboard. See you later, Jarlf. Son of the Wolverine. Or whatever it was. Never chased about my da. Never! Me wife's mom marching up their head. Know the last time I had a Continental on my ship? No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazaire. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help, and I owe him a favor. So, 
Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so. But that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take you. Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go. You ready? What awaits us in the Cave of Dreams? Depends wholly on us, cuz... Ah, I'd explain later. We can go. Is it far? Nah, stone's throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Girls, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Jarl, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here is Uv Jabberjaw. Why is Uv so quiet? Because he got no tongue. What happened? He lick a frozen blade? No. He tore it out because he cursed King Brandwell drunk, lost his power to speak, but kept his honor. Interesting customs you got here. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! should be. Now's when we eat the herbs. Why would we do that? To go on. To where the nightmares are. So says the legend. And so we will do. What herbs are these? Mm, what that druid say? Hemlock, poppy, nightshade, and that chicky, no, uh, henbane. Whoa. In for one hell of a ride. Fine. Give him here. Take it. Oof. Jarl, eat up to the last grain. I don't feel no different. How about you, Oof? <laughs> You're asking a mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears.
not possible? I see you're weary from the battle. Sit with me, son. Have some mead. Pretty telling your adventures. Thank you, my king. We I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. Uh, I, I, I... I didn't... But I... <gasps> you insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a troll and eels will eat your remains. Every few crests. I be those they got wings, these here. It's as if they're swimming through the air. Nothing. You fear nothing, boy. You! You pissed your trousers when lightning struck the tree by our home. Where's three years old? I've shown a hundred times since then that I... You pissed yourself! Before the whole village, the Jarl saw it. 
the shame. Shut up, punished here. You're a vision, a specter. A vision of your dog, who you fear, because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Prove it, you little shite. Let's dance. Get up, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? It was an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett. Thank <laughs> you. 
Move it! Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Me little Norgut's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to get. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Crack awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. I have as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me!
his long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me! Not pinch my allies! If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you! Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it! Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you! What your mug smack? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarns with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Cerus! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cerus, we're near twins in that regard. to his chambers to prepare your promised reward no doubt if you've a spell which or perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the vill cards Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. You drink last night too? You've no respect for our Come on, try Not me! me! Nor that witch, Jennifer! Come on, Come on, Not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. 
leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, the Hakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North Elf's interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skellige wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one.
cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together. How'd they get in? The gates were shut! <laughs> and? Fangmar 
marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Does the gods do it? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? We're talking about. Dragadar. Skull's played his last. All right. What do we have here? Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Sent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms, bowls empty, with a sense in the air, coming from all the horns are empty, somewhere else in this room. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. This one. And only mead. Audric. Shit, no more than a kid. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were- Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. A disgrace. The kind we've not seen since the Red Funeral. 
Few had died then, and not a Jarl's son among them. Freer. If this turns out to be Krach, May I'll twist his head off. Traitors. If Krach appears Freer to be guilty, we'll try him in keeping with our customs. Aye, and then I'll twist his head off. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. <laughs> I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Sarah's wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it. Summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other? All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? Hurry up with that. We'll stick together. It'll all work out.
knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. Need help? I recognize your type a mile away. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good for nothing Sven. Need help? Like it here. Killed a giant, sure, but now he just faffs about seducing the lasses. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Mm-hmm. 